Penn and Teller and their show Fullers have done more than Houdini, David Copperfield, David Blaine, Dynamo or Darren Brown to raise the profile of magic in the public's eye and here are five reasons why. Each time you watch Penn and Teller's Fool Us, whether on TV or the individual clips on YouTube, your knowledge of magic increases just that little more each time. A magician will perform their act and then Penn and Teller will make comments, taking a stab at guessing the method behind the magic. And it's during this time magicians and muggles alike listen intently to see if they can decipher what Penn is really saying. So it kind of becomes a game. After watching the act, you might have your own thoughts on how an act is done. So you listen to Penn's comment to see if you also guessed right. And if you understand what Penn's coded words meant and you're right, then not only do you feel good, you end up discovering more about magic. There's something about birds that bothers me. And it bothers me so much. And that is that birds don't have arms. <laughs> and that makes me creeped out by them walking around with no arms. Oh, they got those wings. And those wings will flap, but they don't have arms. And that bugs me. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I don't think you fooled us. <laughs> have you ever guessed the method correctly? And if you have, what did you end up doing, if anything at all? Did you know that in any one episode of Full Us, there can only be one card magician per episode? That not only limits the amount of card magicians that can appear, but also ensures that whatever card trick you do see, it's bound to be a good one. When you watch magicians like David Blaine or Dynamo, they usually do something quick with cards, similar to the close-up magic you'd see if you book a magician for an event. Full Us shows everyone that there's more to cards than just picking them and finding them. There's picking them and finding them in unique ways, or not even picking cards but showing us something amazing that we haven't seen before. And these aren't beginner card tricks like the 21 card trick or 4 robbers trick. There's a meme based on how men and women see colours but instead of colours it's card tricks and how magicians can name all these multiple types of card tricks but to a muggle it's just a card trick. But through Full Us hopefully you can now see that there are different types of card tricks along with the different types of magic. Which brings me to my third point. Just like in music where there's many different types of genres where you prefer to listen to one over another, magic is the same way. So if you don't like magic, it could be a case of you just haven't found the type of magic that you enjoy yet. Although most magicians we see are the typical card magician, stage illusionist or mentalist, Penn and Teller's Full Us introduces us to many other types of magicians such as escape artists, street and busking magicians, magic dragon, Rubik's Cube magicians, Danger Geek Magic, Coin Magicians, Comedy Magic, Stunt Magic, Gambling Magic, Tech Magic. And I might be missing out some others, but let me know which type of magic you like and I'll see if I can do something along those lines. And if you're enjoying this, please like and consider subscribing so that I can share the love of magic online. And if after listening to all these breakdowns, you still haven't found a type of magic that you like, then uh... Maybe try watching juggling? With so many magicians being showcased on Full Us, it also expands our knowledge and awareness of magicians in general, especially those who come a third, fourth, or even fifth time. So names like Helen Coughlin, Sean Farquhar, Shin Lim, and Yandro start to become more familiar among muggles. Or if you have your own show, or you're on a festival, or you're a gigging magician, being able to advertise that you're on Full Us, or if you're lucky enough to full pen and teller, would set you apart in the eyes of a muggle. It's possible to go on to Full Us and then become a breakout star afterwards. This happened to Shin Lim and Piff the Magic Dragon. They were both showcased on Full Us before going on to AGT and then blowing up and getting their own show on Vegas. So let me know in the comments which magicians you remember from the show. And if you don't remember any, you should be able to at least remember Penn and Teller who both love magic and want to share their love and appreciation of magic with the world. When they are fooled or watch an act that they truly enjoy, you can see it on their faces, especially Tilla, whose silent expression of wonder speaks louder than words. This in turn lets the audience know that the magic act they're seeing is something to be appreciated. Even the acts that don't fool them, before they do their code talk thing, they often comment what they like about the act, and then we form in our minds whether we agree with those comments or not. DK, what a great routine. Just loved it. With that kind of... Uh high concept, beautiful thing, you're almost guaranteed for Teller to like it. That's the kind of thing Teller loves. That's the kind of stuff that you were doing, kind of stuff that categorically I don't like. 
I love this. It's akin to enjoying art. Sometimes we don't know that something is magnificent until we're told by a respected art critic. Likewise with movies, we go to Roger Ebert, Ron Tomatoes, or a favourite movie reviewer to find out if a movie is good before we decide to go watch. We often don't know what good magic looks like because our baseline is probably things like kids magicians, top hats, sawing people in half, or social media magicians. Some, not all. Pen and Teller's Fool Us ensures that the acts that are aired are good and worth watching. Plus, magicians are a good barometer on whether another magician is good enough to watch or not. So if you're not sure, just ask me. In fact, Fool Us allows magicians to share or highlight the acts of magicians that they like when they're on. For example, Danny Dowatiz has been a popular card magician in the magic community. And now with his appearance on Fool Us, we can show muggles why we like him so much. And if you're interested in any of the behind the scenes facts about Fool Us, please check out this video here or linked in the description below. Until next time, I'm David and make sure you have a magical day.